cookies. What excitable I love chef. cookies. I'm sorry. Uh, Kenny, do you want to do the honors? Okay. Delicious chocolate chip cookies. Look at the size of them. They're very large. You can tell by their size. I expect all the time to make smaller ones. I had no idea that we were going to come up with such big ones. I know. They look good now. Let's make sure you don't touch the pan, though, because it just came out of the oven. It's hot, hot, hot. Okay. That's a song by Buster Poindexter. It used to be David O'Hanson of the New York Doll. That's fascinating. Can you tell people what they're watching today? Welcome to Cooking with Kenny and Kyle, part two. In our previous episode, we, we made polka dotted macaroni and cheese. And now we're connecting the dots. Connecting the dots with, with chocolate chip cookies. That is correct. Dots on the cookies, dots in the macaroni and cheese. That, in that case, the dots were frankfurters. These are chocolate uh, dots. Exactly. And they look marvelous. But they're quite hot right now. Yes, I know they're quite hot. We'll have to have them later. But you may wonder how these cookies came to be. Well, we're going to show you, right, Kenny? Right. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy a little bit of time with Kenny and Kyle in the kitchen with Cooking with Kenny and Kyle. So, shall we begin? Yes, let's begin. Okay. What should Ready we do? All right. First, we're going to mix what we call the wet ingredients. That will be, oddly enough, the sugar, which is actually dry, but we're calling it wet. This is right here, my brother's very old Betty Crocker Boys and New Boys and Girls cookbook we've had in our family for generations. He actually won this in a stride bake by making a tuna casserole on Flag Day back in. 1973, when I was just a five to six year old child. A mere slip of a boy. You're going to add a half a cup of um, sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar to a half a cup of butter. Do you want to read the uh, recipe there, Ken? Half a cup of soft shortening, half a cup, one half of butter, one cup, half cup half cup granulated sugar, half cup of brown sugar pack, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one half cup teaspoon soda, and one half cup of salt. Plus, finally, one package of semi-16 ounces, semi-sweet chocolate pieces, one cup. Which you bang the daylights out of. Exactly. Otherwise, you don't have chocolate chip cookies, you just have a big loaf of chocolate in your cookies. And that doesn't sound as appealing, now does it? We should have used semi-sweet chocolate chips like Nestle Toho's morsels. Those would have well, been much better. Kenny, it's your cookbook. Just saying. Okay, um, let's see. It was my brother's cookbook. Oh, I'm sorry. It's your brother's cookbook. It was. Was. Now it's yours? Yes. My mom oh. referred to this as a Bible. The Bible, huh? Exactly. Since I'm so crazy about these recipes. You're crazy about food, Kenny. Well, you... so are Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Yet yeah, that's true. You are an Epicurean. Which means? Someone who's crazy about food. They can't get enough of it, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Not unlike yourself. Now, Kenny, why don't you um, can take the book and set it, take, I'm sorry, the Bible, Let's set the Bible down, and um, you can take the dry ingredients. You're going to mix that in the orange bowl there. And I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it's actually a teaspoon. So we're going to need um, a teaspoon of pure baking soda from Safeway. Or Stop Shop. Stop and Shop. I moved it from California. I'm sorry. There we go. It's okay if you like a little bit over. It's not a big deal. They're cookies. The worst thing that could happen is you have cookies. Right? I mean, you could overbake them. You could overbake them, but then you still have cookies. I don't need this anymore. Now I'm going to add the vanilla extract. 
I don't know what it's extracted from, but... Good question. Probably the vanilla plant, I imagine. Yeah, okay. it's a flower. I'm going to put this junk away. And then we're going to start mixing this, and Kenny is going to start doing his banging. And this is really something that you have to see. Oh, yes, and you have to put a little salt in, too. But the salt, it's just a touch, okay? Just a pinch of like it. Like that. That should be enough. Okay? Are you ready, Kenny? No, no. You're going to bag it inside the, the, the golden ticket there. <laughs> Go like so. Yes. Really get out your frustration. I would have thought you were more yeah, frustrated yeah. than that. Letting out my aggression, you could say. You don't have much aggression. Let out your joy, then. Exactly. Really go mad on it. Well, I'm mad about chocolate chip cookies. You don't sound very mad. As in crazy, silly. Oh, okay. So you're insane for cookies? Crazy about them. Cuckoo for cookies, like a certain monster we know of. Cookie monster from Sesame Street. Yes. He can't get enough of them. He's addicted to them. It's horrible. It's an eating disorder. It is. Precisely. And Grover is addicted to travel. He hates to go near and far. And he mm. likes doing different things to Kermit the Frog. Yes, he does. We're not putting any frogs in here, are we? Yeah, we don't need frogs' legs. I just Kermit was a Paul when, in the Muppet movie, there was this guy called Doc Hopper and he made french fried frog legs. Being a frog himself, that's why he was against people eating. I can imagine. Well, would you eat Kenny legs? No. No. You might have I wouldn't eat them either. If you didn't know they were Kenny legs. Okay, so now, although we're making cookies, it sounds like we're building a house. I think that's quite enough bang banging for now. Let's take a look and we'll see. I did my best. No one's perfect. Well... And that's a fact. That sounds very defeatist, Kenny. You should never be defeatist. It's very middle class. Defeatist? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what, may I ask, does that mean? Well, it's not important. Let's see what we got here. I got a golden ticket. No. From Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. No golden ticket, just chocolate. Yeah, they made see, Wonka bars. I think you should have you should have been more aggressive. Because it looks like a patio, but a very nice trimmed patio. Yeah, really, really and knock it. Yeah, really, that's it, Kenny. Pretend you're banging my head with a spoon. On MTV, there was the Headbangers Ball. So okay. Head rock and yes, roll. yes, this is what we want. We want the Headbangers Ball in, of chocolate. You know where you're going? You're going in the oven. And you're going to get eaten. What a sense of humor my friend has. She sure knows how to liven up a party. I also know how to thoroughly mix. I'm thoroughly mixing. Thoroughly mixing Millie. That's me. Is that good enough? I think so. What do you think? These are your cookies, Kenny. You my have to just... For my brother's recipe, for my brother's book. Yes, but I have a feeling your brother may never see these cookies. I mean, unless he watches the show. Yeah, okay. it'll be on YouTube. It will be, that's correct. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients. Actually, years ago, my brother showed uh, the footage of me at, at the WZLS Turkey Meet and Greet doing Journeys Who's Crying Now. Really? Were you crying? No, I was singing. I'm crying because I'm thoroughly mixing. What do you think you are, a slave? No, I wouldn't say that. Cinderella? Do I look like Cinderella? Nonsense. I have both shoes, thank you very much. But they're not made of glass. No. Glass slippers. They, don't, they seem very impractical, don't you think? I actually did a version of Cinderella from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse called Minirella. Really? Indeed, I have it on DVD. And also there's a computer game on the Disney Junior uh, What, do you have to get out website. of the ball without the prince seeing you, or...? Well, no, you use a magic wand to dress Minnie up in a pretty outfit, and then uh, unlock the gate, and then mm -hmm. have her dance with the prince, played Here. by Mickey. You can use this magic wand to mix. 
I'll take a break because my arm is going to fall off. You're tired. You think? Need a little rest. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. I'll take it from here then. Excellent. I will get the cookie sheet. How does that grab you? Go ahead. Here be I my, go. Here, be my guest. Here I go. Be my guest. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> well, I've seen Beauty and the Beast on, at the theater, and I've seen it on Disney on Ice, and I've seen play versions. Da, 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 da. We went and saw it together. And I started it too as Lumiere in that play. Now, on a cookie sheet, you can use any size, a flat one or one with edges like we have here. You're going to use a little spray. Called uh, Pam. Pam. But it's a classic brand. It is a classic brand. But if you spell it backwards, it it's, becomes map. And you want to see a map of the world, won't you? Well, I don't know. There's so many places to go. Bam! Cookies. Around the globe. I know. And everywhere they have chocolate chip cookies, but none will be as delicious as ours. Now, the truth is, I would have much preferred chocolate chips, like well, Nestle, to like Nestle to house morsels, and smaller ones too. That's what the way the recipe was meant to be done. Well, you maybe didn't bang the chocolate enough. I'm just saying. Well, we made a little changes here. Yeah, this is quite good, I suppose. I think this is more like foodie, kind of gourmet sort of. Like the phantom gourmet. Right, but without the phantom part. Dressed gonna... in a purple top hat and tuxedo and mask. You think that's not very phantom because you think people would notice him in a restaurant, don't you think? Yeah, he doesn't want anybody to know who he really is. I wonder who he is. Who do you think he is? Could be anyone. Could be me. I don't believe it is, though. And I'm going to save this for crafting later. Shall we beat it up a little bit more? Let's really go mad. Be my guest. <laughs> no, we shouldn't do that because we'll probably have to pay royalties to Disney for using their number. Who, where do we see that at? We saw it at Bridgewater State? Yes, Bridgewater State College. Yes, you and I went. And you got your picture taken with Lumiere. And, and Cogsworth and Gaston and Belle and the Prince. You were really quite, uh, quite popular that day. Yes, I suppose I was. All right, I'm going to allow you to do the bawling here. Not bawling like crying, but bawling like... Making balls. Because... Funny. You've done it before, and I don't um, want to make them the wrong size. And you know the right size now because you've been educated. Indeed. And I'm going to get a spoon and clean out this scooper. May I, may I squeeze past you, Kenneth? No problem Here, at all. Let's swap spots. Not to be confused with dots. Okay. It rhymes. I know, right? I'm a poet and I don't even realize it. Poet, you don't even know it. Oh. That's the way to say it. Yeah. So predictable. How common. I know. We don't want to be common, do we? Why not? We want to be extraordinary, like we are, right? Suave, even though. Suave, debonair. On the, sort of on the nosy. So, after you've balled up the um, dough and you've placed it on the cookie sheet. Roll it all up. Yes. You're going to put it in a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Uh, keep your eye on it because you don't want them to burn because a burnt cookie isn't as good as a not burnt cookie. Right? Precisely. But the worst thing that can happen to you is you have cookies. So... You said that already. I know, but it's true. I just have to reiterate. Give them a little bit of breathing room here. Let them breathe a little. Yeah. It's fun sticking your hands in dough, isn't it? I suppose. It looks like you're enjoying yourself. And you're doing little augmentations to the um, chocolate, I see, as well, which is good. The little pieces. Because, you know, you just have to keep rolling with the punches, you know, when, when you're cooking, right? 
as they say, mm -hmm. go with the flow. Right. Or in this case, go with the dough. Good point. Mm -hmm. So, after the 10 minutes, you'll have these wonderful cookies, and um, then the excitement will build and build and build until finally the cookies come out of the oven. And that's deliciousness, right? Right. So, in a moment, we're going to enjoy our cookies with a traditional glass of milk. Right, Ken? Everyone knows cookies go well with milk. That's right. That's what we always have with cookies, right? Exactly. We're, in that way, it's okay to be a little common. Because sometimes, that's just the best. Cookies and milk. It's an American classic. Indeed. Although you were born in Scotland. Glasgow, Scotland to be exact. So what do they have with cookies there? A single malt? I really don't know. Hmm. Okay. Now, Kenny, I'm going to allow you to put those in the oven. And I will take this from you. Would you like me to give you something to wipe your hands off with? Yeah, I need it. Okay. Give me a... How about a paper towel? Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now, if you will just demonstrate how the people can put their cookies into the oven. And before you know it, we will be enjoying cookies and milk. Faster than you could say cookies and milk. There you go. I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Taking the cookies off and you're now I'm uh, taking these cookies off and preparing them for, for a snack. Now they're ready to plate. And I'm creating this delicious milk cocktail, which consists of milk and a glass. We did our best in making these cookies. So. The first time I made them so big. Mm. And what are we using them? Butter. We didn't skimp, did we? Nothing of the sort. Right. So anyway, if you would like to um, uh, visit our website, um, at Pembroke Town News and you can see the Cooking with Kenny and Kyle link and you can get the recipe from the cookbook and then you can make them with your kids or by yourself or with your, your cat friends. or with your friend or whomever. Friends, plural. At any rate, we want to thank you for watching Cooking with Kenny and Kyle and we are going to enjoy our chocolate chip cookies. May I propose a toast? You may. To our friendship, may it last forever. Chips ahoy. Bottoms up. Mmm. Mmm. They're good. That's good. You're right.